Today's A-level IB biology video is concerning the hormone thyroxine. So in today's video, we'll talk about where it's made, how it works, its various functions. Now I've added a diagram so you can see where thyroxine is made. It is made inside the thyroid gland, which is found in the base of the neck. So you can see the windpipe, the trachea underneath. We'll start by saying that thyroxine is made in the thyroid gland. Now, one thing you need to be aware of is that one molecule of thyroxine contains four iodine atoms. Now, that's most unusual. Most molecules do not contain anywhere near that much iodine. Remember, iodine is an element found in group seven of the periodic table. Clearly, therefore, iodine deficiency within the diet means that not enough thyroxine is manufactured. So here we have thyroxine. So now we're going to talk about thyroxine's role within the body. So primarily it's a hormone, and as with all hormones, they are carried in the blood and they have particular targets. Now, unusually for thyroxine, almost all the cells in the body are targets. However, there are some main targets and they are the brain, muscles and liver. But what does the hormone actually do when it arrives at its various targets? Well, it regulates the body's metabolic rate. And the brain, muscles and liver have higher metabolic rates, hence why they are the primary targets of thyroxine. And when we say regulates, we really mean increases. Now, with a high metabolic rate, it means you get greater photosynthesis, more growth and actually greater generation of body heat. And that final role, how it increases the generation of body heat, we're going to look at that in greater detail now. So we know that when our body gets too cold, there are various mechanisms that come into play which, which act to increase our body temperature, and thyroxine is very important in this, and so we'll talk about that now. So if you are too cold, the thyroid gland secretes more thyroxine, leading to increased metabolic rate. shivering and increased respiration by brown adipose tissue. You'll also see vasoconstriction and that means the constriction of blood vessels that supply the skin. And that constriction means that less blood flows close to the skin so less heat is radiated hence why it is a mechanism involved in helping to keep you warm. So if you studied thermoregulation at GCSE and IGCSE, hopefully you'll recognise vasoconstriction, shivering, potentially increased respiration. And as a result, there is a return to normal body temperature. Now, obviously, if you're too hot, the opposite will come into place. You'll see the thyroid gland secreting less thyroxine, so a decreased in metabolic rate, no shivering and decreased respiration, as well as vasodilation. So make sure you learn the opposite, but only learn it once and then just learn that the opposite is true. <laughs>